and it will, the next part is this crossfeed gear is completely worn out. It looks like uh, little piranha teeth instead of looking like a gear profile. So we have to get this one off of this shaft. It's, it's a square um, post, a square hole, and it's been peened over. So this is the new gear. Picked this up on eBay. Guy out in California makes them. Does a nice job. And it's cheap enough to buy it as opposed to spending a couple of hours making it. So I'm not really concerned with what happens to this gear, so I may just try to press this out, and if the gear breaks, so be it. Um, but that's what I'm going to try first. Got a socket. Uh, what is it? 5.8 socket which fits in nicely and I've taken a uh, 5 16 bolt and I threw it in the lathe and I kind of sharpened it up a little bit on the side so it fits into this recess and kind of centers it so it'll go down the center of that square bore we'll see what happens Yeah, we'll see what happens here. Cool. Came right out. I just have to clean that up and put the new gear on. 317, 317, 315. Three thirteen. So <clears throat> I guess I'm going to attempt to just press this on and then try to peen it over. I'm, I'm hoping it's going to go down smooth. I'm going to file these inside sharp edges so that it doesn't, uh, you know, end up broaching this thing, broaching the column and ending up with metal stuck underneath it. Well it looks, um, looks like it's going to run pretty square once I get it peened over. And so what I've done is uh, I kind of made a little counter bore in the middle to make it easier to peen the sides. You know, just touched it with a drill bit. Now I'm going to lock it in the vise and peen it on over. I want to damage the, uh, the back of it. Most I have it sitting in a in a hole there, so it sits up on the shoulder.
Mm. Good. A couple little misses there. Let's see if any raised anything up. Nope. All below the base. Good and tight. All right. On to the next part. All right, the last gear that I'm going to replace is this is also, I believe, a 24 tooth. This is the carriage feed mechanism, and it also is completely worn away. I mean, they put these die cast gears up against steel gears, and it just chews the, the die cast up. So anyway, I got to get this one off, except that this one's a little bit more difficult than the last, considering that it's sitting inside this die cast housing, which we definitely do not want to break. I mean, you can still find them on eBay as used parts, but you know, these guys are getting 85, 100 bucks for it. And uh, so I'm not going to attempt to just press this out. I don't want to put any pressure on the on this housing. Um, I can't, there's not enough room in here to get something behind the gear to balance it. Um, so I think I'm going to uh, take a die grinder and grind it off. And uh, the new gear has a countersink in it. So if the post is a little bit shorter, it should still be fine. Well, I can kind of see the, the whole profile. I think it might be enough. No. I want to do that. Don't bend that. using before. Nope. It's not moving. There we go. And she's going. Beautiful. Beautiful. There we go. Hmm. I wonder why she doesn't come out. Probably a burr. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No.
There we go. Now we'll get this cleaned up. Problem is the new gear won't be here till tomorrow. Well, I got some bad news. When I was cleaning up this casting, I discovered a crack. I don't know if you can see it, but I, I made it in blue right in here. That's cracked and it goes through all the way to the other side. You can see the crack. So, I mean, it wiggles. And it's only being held on by a little bit, and uh, I was afraid of that. A lot of these things break if, you know, I don't know who did what to the lathe before I got it. I got the lathe free about six years ago and have uh, done some work on it, but anyway, what I'm going to do is I have this block of aluminum cut off scrap from something and it's big enough to machine a piece out of it. So it looks like it'll probably be a whole day project and um, I don't think it'd be too hard to to make. Um, I mean if we you look at it this way I mean this this is square with this and that's square with that. This really doesn't make much difference as far as I can tell. Um, I don't have to reduce this. All I need is the hole through it and uh, just reduce this down to the size for the screws. So I think once I get the basic shape, I'll bore a hole, bore this hole all the way through, then bore this hole all the way through, and having bored this one out, this recess right here will already be there. Well, something to do between now and waiting for the other gear to come. Maybe we'll make it the subject of another video. All right, I got a lot of work to do. Next time.